Hello everyone, delighted to have your company here on 2K Sports for our PGA Tour action. Today's coverage of the TGC Open is about to kick off. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Luke Olvey here alongside Rich Beam and Rich, we're kicking off another season on the PGA Tour. Can't wait to see some of the stories unfold. I'm certainly excited to have you as my co-pilot once again. Luke, always a pleasure being alongside you for another PGA Tour season. As most of us at home are watching, all the fans of golf, I can't wait for this thing to get started. Is it nerves? Is it excitement? How are the players feeling? They're feeling good. It's like a fresh start. Anything that they did last year is kind of forgotten. This year, it's a fresh start. New opportunities to win, to finish in the top 10. Whatever their goals are, it's just a fresh start for these players, and they're all looking forward to it. Well, it's all promising to be a good day. Can't wait to see what happens. And let's see what he can do here today. Oh, absolutely flushed. Time for the second shot into the first. Going with the pitching wedge here. Good shot there. Yeah, good mid-range putt this one. Right on 17 feet. It's got a chance. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Starting the round at even par. Here we are at the second tee. Well played, mate. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Opting for the 9 iron. Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. That's just inside the range. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Oh, what a great stroke. Remember, putting's a finesse game. Putting for par. Go on, get in the hole. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. And this one gets the most improved award after the early few holes. And with that, he'll stay right there at even par. Teeing off here at the third hole. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Oh, 
opting for the three wood. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. 15 feet to the cup. This one has eyes for the hole. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. Time to recap what Jim Furyk managed just moments ago. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Those always come in handy, completely unexpected, but welcome nonetheless. And after this hole, that's how it looks. The tea is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. This one might just sneak off the fairway. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. I'm down on the sixth hole as Kucher preps his next shot. Oh, this looks pure. Well, that was a beauty. That had eyes on the hole the whole way. And that will take him to two under. This lie's not great. <laughs> Opting for the five iron. <laughs> but not a bad approach. He'll be putting. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. Oh, that's frustrating. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. You've arrived at a par four. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Well, Luke, you're right. He did find grass, but it's not the closely mown grass. Going with the hybrid. Left yourself an opportunity. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. A spot in the all-important top five coming up if you can hold this. Get in. 
Well, that should limit the damage. Nicely done. To the top five he goes. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. Just one off the lead after that hole. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Rich, some genuine excitement in the air for this season opening event. As it should be. Players have had a time to sit back, relax during the holidays, spend time with family, friends. But now it's time to get back to work. And I got to say, the opening event always has a very unique buzz about it, doesn't it? Everybody's excited. The players, the fans, the caddies, the reps. I mean, we can make a laundry list of everybody that's out here to embrace the season over. I'm excited. I know you're excited. Well, let's get into it. That's an awful error. Still a chance to attack this hole from the first cut. That's a good looking shot there. Well, this would be a big birdie here. Good putt to make. Ooh. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. Now, that's a mistake. How do you leave that short? Tell you what, I watch out. This guy's going to be on full tilt here shortly. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. John, give us a small update. Well, I'm on the ninth hole. Jim Furyk's just getting ready to hit. Time for the fifth shot. Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. Saving one there after being all over the parking lot, chipping in for the par. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Deep into the front nine, here we are at the seventh hole. Looks like they've got the five wood. <laughs> Setting up miles from the hole.
excitement. It's starting. You can hear it. Five feet coming up to the cup. And down she goes. John, what's going on out there? We're down here following uh, Cooch. This is the ninth hole. Sitting at two under par. Currently in fourth position. Wow, from a dodgy lie ridge. How special was that? That was spectacular, Luke. Great work. Great shot. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. That is right down the sprinkler line. Time for the second shot at the eighth. It's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Well, they've found the bunker, but a chance to maybe save from there. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. And a par is all but guaranteed after that fantastic bunker shot. Oh, just missed. Putting for bogey. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. That'll move him to even par for the tournament. Not much happening. Moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. Here we have a par five. Well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Time for the second shot here at the ninth. The interesting choice of the driver here. Getting ready to play their third. Currently four shots off the pace. Trying to get to one under here with this putt. This one's online. Ouch, that hurts. Maybe some time on the practice green wouldn't hurt. Setting up to play the shot here from the green side rough. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. 
Yeah, that's hold, but they seem to be losing a bit of their momentum. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Now playing a little defensively. And there's highlights of plenty out there on the golf course. Let's take a look at this incredible shot. Looking forward to seeing what Tony Finau does here, Rich. That's an absolute peach. Well played. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. This hole here is a par four. Lovely rhythm there, Rich. That's going to work every time. Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? They're in the deep stuff, and they are deep into it as well. So I'm going to have to be careful getting out of this one. Yeah, that's the right option. You should never compound an error with another one. Going with the 9-9, nine -nine, I think. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. That's disappointing. Well, I think they fell in love with the line, forgot about the pace. That limits the damage. Moving down the leaderboard after that hole. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. From about 100 yards. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Choosing the 9-iron nine -nine here. That's not the outcome they were after. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. Looking better. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And this next putt, it's for bogey. Good stroke. Unfortunately, a bogey goes on the scorecard there. John, you're down there. What's happening? Down here on the 12th hole. Tony Finau is just getting ready for his next shot. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Oh, oh that's incredible. And for birdie too. 
Oh, trying to hit a little punch shot, and they do to perfection. What a shot indeed. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Going with the seven. That's not what they were looking for. Oh, as we can see there, the wind definitely affecting that shot. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That's right out of the Gary Player highlight reel. And he needs this to save par. That starts off on a good line. And the punt will go. What a great display of resilience on this hole. It was off the tee with their tee shot. Nice save indeed. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. That should find the cut stuff. It's time for another highlight. This time we head to the 16th. Well, this is a fair reason why our leader is where he is on the leaderboard. Lining up for his second. Outstanding stuff by Jim Furyk. Let's get back to it, shall we? Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Oh, that was pure. Sitting at three over par. Well, you're going to need to think of your second shot already because that one's beached. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. And coming up well short. Oh, almost went in. Oh, 13 footer coming up here. This one's tracking. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Currently at plus three for the event. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. And after a par at the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Oh, well played. Lining up from about 230 yards here. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Interesting choice of the driver here. Ah, 
That's a little wayward. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Well, I'm on the 15th hole. Tony Finau's just getting ready for his next shot. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Oh, my God. Tough bunker shot. No bother whatsoever for this player. They find the bottom of the cup. And here we are with the third shot. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Well, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Looking really good, this one. Seven feet to the cup. That's half a chance of being hold, this one. That's well hold. Sitting at four over for the day. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Quality shot, that one. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Well, this one's looking like 23 feet. And this putt coming up for his par. Job done. Let's head to the next. Sitting at four over for the event. Being off here on the 16th hole. Oh, just absolutely abused the golf ball there with that shot. And let's take a look at this shot from moments ago. Matt Kucha with a fantastic shot. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Oh, that's the shot. Go ahead and make one. Don't worry about getting it up and down. Well, I know that we're in the booth and not right up close to it, but it doesn't take a smart person to work out. That's not a nice lie. He's going to have to go down after this one, try and dig it out as best he can and hope for the best. Game with the five iron here. That's a great shot here at 16. It sets up a chance for birdie. Oh, what a stroke. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. Teeing off here on the 17th hole.
Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the 17th hole. Wonderfully played. Putting for birdie. This is a good chance. That was a gallant attempt. And that should secure the par. Well done. man on the ground. John, he's down there. What's the news? Well, over here on the 18th, and this is Tony Finau getting ready for his next shot from 29 feet out. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Well, let's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the 18. That looks to be a fair way finder to me. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Four left. Getting ready to play their third. This would be a great up and down. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. Ooh, nice line. And another round safely in the books. And there you have it. They'll be pleased with that, just sneaking through the cut line. Absolutely. It's always nice, good feeling to make the cut. Some weeks you just don't quite have your A game, but making the cut, always a positive sign. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.